continue to use them in a mighty way, Master. Yes. Praying for each and every human this morning, Master. Praying for the one that is sick this morning. Yeah. The ones that's chatting in this morning, the ones that don't know you this morning, this morning this morning. You just continue to bless them, Master. Uh-huh. So stop, stop by the hospital this morning. Somebody went there this morning, Master. Yes. you just comfort them, Master. Let them know everything will be all right. We're praying for one of us just this. Addicted this morning, Master. To something, Master. Yes. We sometimes when we hear the word addiction, we think it's drugs, alcohol. Father, all kinds of this. We ask you to help us this morning, Master. Help us be better Christians on today than we have been in the past, Master. Yes. And sometimes we fall short, Master, of doing your will. Yes. But this morning we ask you to let your will be done this morning. Please, Father. I said thank you this morning. If we had a thousand tongues, we couldn't thank you this morning. This is our prayer this morning. Let us all together say, my brother, so Jesus, man. Turn to page ten and I saw the praise. Yeah. 
ourselves in the sight of the Lord. small room, a 
nourishment, a garage, some kind of shelter. Some kind of transportation to take me to and fro. The Lord is my shepherd. And I am now present. Well, I am now present virtually or sitting in the audience. I am now present in the house of the Lord. Y'all right? Today is a good day in spite of how we feel. Some may not be feeling as well as others, but it's a good day if you're able to be a part of this day. If you give me just a few moments, and we certainly want to thank all of our visitors that have come, as we discuss a portion of God's Word. I want to use a familiar text, and I know you already know it, but just let me talk about it for just a little bit. Yes, sir. The lesson will be yours. 23rd Psalms, and I'm only going to use one verse today. For if I were to use all of them, it would be a series for at least two months. In verse 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, David says, yeah. Though I walk through the valley and the shadows of death, I will feel no evil. For thou art with me. Yes, sir. Thou rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Yes, sir. I want to take a subject this morning. Don't let your valley okay. on, block your mountain on top. Oh, yeah. Don't let your valley yes, block your mountain on top. Right, right. Give me a minute. Just give me a minute. Just give me a minute. Just give me a minute. This is a, one of the most comforting text in the Bible when we say everybody know about Psalms number 23 Paul the 23rd Psalm often most and even quoted 23rd Psalms often read and quoted at funerals and even at weddings People are down and out, they will often refer you to the 23rd Psalm. The shepherd is what he's talking about in the text. Talking about the shepherd. Yes, sir. But I want to deal with verse 4. Uh, because I think there's something in verse 4 that sometimes we just kind of run over. Because verse 1, 2, and 3, if you read those, it seems to soften yeah. Yeah. verse number 4. Make it plain. Make it plain. Yeah. Now y'all say with me. Yeah. Yeah. Lord, my shepherd, I shall not want. You make me the light now. And green pastures, yeah. and even beside still water. Yeah. Oh, that, oh, that yeah. sounds good. Oh, my goodness. He restores my soul. Yes, yeah, sir. Ah. Lead me in the path of righteousness for it. Fills me up. And so when I read verse number four, it doesn't seem like it's really that bad. He's saying, yeah, though I walk through the valley hey, that's a good thing. Back up with me. Put your car in reverse and back up with me. Let's go back through this together. Because I think you're missing right here when he says, they know I walk through a valley. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. I walk through a valley. I, I, I know that I'm one of God's trophies, but <clears throat> I still have to walk through yes, sir. a valley. Yes, sir. Yeah. See, the mindset is different when you are in a valley. Yes, sir. Yeah. What was that? Yes, sir. I'll give you some time to preach right here. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. When you say valley, you're talking about a low point. You're a low point, the lowest point. Yes, sir. You're in a rough spot. Yes, sir. You got some tough 
halos right quick. All the preachers and stuff that just come down and they just talk about fabs. Oh, I call everybody in here one way or another have been in and through a valley. Some of y'all still in a valley. But you know about valleys. I'm a pastor and I had some valleys. I, well, I wasn't that time to talk to y'all about some of the valleys that me and baby kicks and went through. Lord have mercy. Problems. No funds. Lord have mercy. More bills than money. Y'all don't think about that? Illnesses and sicknesses. One day I'm feeling good, the other day I'm feeling bad. One day I'm running a marathon, the other day I can't get out of bed. Anybody here? Anybody here? Yes, sir. Children problems. Stay on your mind. 
give you a 40 pack.
Well, I know I'm going to check up this phone and check it out. Do it. 
You ever been there? You ever had one of those deep valleys? <coughs> See, I like to be real. Just tell it like it is. When you're on your toes trying to touch the bottom. Come on now. <laughs>
distress. We are not distressed. I can't allow it to turn me over. I can't allow it to stop me from loving the Lord. I can't allow it to stop me from coming to church. I can't allow it uh, to keep me down on the ground with a foot on my neck. I'm not going to allow it to do that. Am I trouble? Yes. Oh, but I've got some praises still to give to God.
Somebody say amen. 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 